In this lecture, we are going to learn about some interesting properties of an orthogonal matrix. A square matrix, let's denote it by capital A, is orthogonal if A transpose into A equals to A into A transpose equals to identity matrix. That is, if we pre-multiply or post-multiply the orthogonal matrix with its transpose, then we get identity matrix. And such matrix A is called orthogonal matrix. Now the first property is that columns of an orthogonal matrix are orthonormal vectors. That is, if we treat the columns of an orthogonal matrix as column vectors, then they all have unit magnitudes and dot product of any pair of column vectors is zero. In the same way, rows of an orthogonal matrix are also orthonormal vectors. Next is determinant of an orthogonal matrix is always equals to plus minus one. And I will prove this in next video that you can see. And because determinant of A is always plus minus one, that is it is not equals to zero and orthogonal matrix is always invertible. And in fact, inverse of an orthogonal matrix is equals to its transpose. And that is very easy to see because if matrix B is inverse of matrix A, then B should satisfy the property BA equals to AB equals to I. And here we see that A transpose satisfies that property. So the inverse of A is equals to A transpose. And the last property is geometrically orthogonal matrix represents rotation. That is, if we pre-multiply any vector with an orthogonal matrix, then the resulting vector will be rotated version of original vector without any change in the length. And if determinant of A is plus one, then A is called proper orthogonal matrix and it represents proper rotation or we can say pure rotation. And let's see that by an example, in general, the orthogonal matrix, which is rotation matrix with determinant one is denoted by cos theta minus sine theta, sine theta, cos theta. And here theta is the angle of rotation for orthogonal or rotation matrix. And let's take theta equals to 90 degree so that our example is simple and easy to visualize. So in that case, our orthogonal matrix will become zero minus one, one, zero. And if I take say a vector like this, then this vector will be denoted by x component is 2 and y component is 0. Now if I pre-multiply this vector with matrix A, then I get here. This will be multiplied with this. So that will give me 0. And this will be multiplied with this. And that will give me 2. So if I plot this vector here, x component is 0 and y component is 2. So my final vector will be something like this. So here we see that from this red vector to green vector, the angle is 90 degree. So pre-multiplying our vector 2, 0 with this orthogonal matrix has resulted in rotating this vector by 90 degree angle. Next, if determinant of A is minus 1, then A is called improper orthogonal matrix and it represents improper rotation, that is possible rotation with reflection or inversion operation. 